Welcome back to Gaming with Bigby. I am Bigby, and when we last left off, we were working on sculpting our slime island so that the slimes fell down into our mob-killing arena down below. Um, it's not exactly a fully automated slime trap, as it were, but it is a way for us to uh, sort of uh, control what's going on with the slimes, direct them so that we don't have them necessarily jumping down on our heads. Um, just to give us a little bit more control over what is going on on this slime island so that we're not being surprised with sudden influx of giant slimes anywhere. And one of the other things that we can do is build up walls around the slime area so that the slimes simply can't leave except to go out the way that we want them to go out. And let's just, eh, you know what, it actually doesn't do all that much damage to the little guys. Uh, let's go ahead and jump over here. And we want to do the same thing on this side. And again, this is just a very crude and simple way of doing it. If you uh, really want to do it properly, you'll actually spend some time um, sculpting the island itself, bucketing up, and then ch uh, moving the water around. Um, that's really the best way of doing it. All right. So you can see we've got some slime channels here that we've put in place, but we need more slime channels. I've just put this wall up just simply to keep slimes from jumping out any way other than the way we want them to jump out. So let's go ahead and let's see, can I safely jump down here? Yes I can! We Oh look at all the mobs! Did you see how many mobs we're in our mob farm. Let's go take a look at that, shall we? Uh oh, let's back away. Sounds like we got spiders coming for us. Had spider coming for us. Oh my, <laughs> they were very interested in getting to know me. <laughs> wow, did you see all that? Holy smokes. Yeah, come on Mr. Spider, I see you. Look at them. They're fighting to try and get to me. Yeah, it's not a good idea. But interestingly enough, no Enderman. Oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna have a problem on my hands. And that is exactly what I was worried about with this. Oh boy, oof. Sorry about the lack of speaking, but that really, wow. <laughs> that one took me off guard. Oh no. No, you don't. 
I honestly didn't realize that there was a creeper that close. Oh, somebody just fell into the water. Oh, the creeper. Of course. Eh, you jerk. Wow. Okay. Well, that was, um, unexpected and messy. <laughs> Drawback of the, uh, the mob farm is that if mob gets t mobs get too close to the walls, they can blow giant holes in them. Okay. <laughs> Duly noted. Yeesh. Okay. Well, <laughs> we've had our startle for the night. Just check one thing real quick here. Okay, realized I, in all the excitement, I'd forgotten to start my timer, so it will be a, a little bit long for this episode, but... You know what, let's just go ahead... Well, the sun's coming up. I guess we don't really have to reset day. Uh, oh, yes, I came back in here for some redstone. I knew there was something I came in here for. Well, let's see, if I remember correctly, it's... Slime channels. Just like that. That's all it takes. So let's put that there. Let's get some more. Boom. And done. Now, I don't think I can do it with the purple ones. Let's see. Let's try. Do you notice I can't make them into purple slime balls? Oh, I can make them into slime channels, so I guess they do have a use. Of course, for some weird reason, they turn into green slime channels, even though they're purple. Yeah, I don't get it either. And there we go. And I'm very disappointed. I'm going to need more stone to fix my uh, my mob trap here. And I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to line the walls with punji sticks so that when they, if the mobs come up close to the walls, they kill themselves. Um, I'm definitely going to have to have a better way of getting in there. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that, but I know there's got to be a better way. Because that way is not working. I absolutely have to have a large amount of punji sticks around the central area where I'm, well, around my central hidey hole. No question about that. So you can see I've got my little area here. And we've got this all walled off so the mobs can't get out. Try as they might, they will get stuck in there. So, whoop, 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 bouncy bounce. Alright, so let's get our slime channels out. Okay, now, what I don't know... Okay, yep, that's not going to work. Come on. Okay, I don't know why... It's just taking it right down and out. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, hmm. Alright, I can put the purple stuff there. Alright, we're going to have to figure something out here. Interesting, it didn't wash them off. It removed them. But it didn't actually, uh, 
take them out. That's interesting. Uh oh. Okay. Well, uh, working with the slime can be very complex, uh, as you can see. Like, see, if I put... Now, see, oh, let me put the block there. So now I've created a little bit of a flow. Whoa! Oh, he is. Jerk. He hit me! Hey! These guys are going to be the death of me. Okay, <laughs> I need to head back down and heal up. Dealing with these slimes is not something to be taken lightly. As you can see, they are extremely dangerous. And not to be trifled with. And I have really gotten myself hurt dealing with these slimes. Yeesh. <sighs> and all for the one of making a slime trap. Nearly get my butt killed. Eat up. Okay, let this heal me up. Yeah, I'm still going to have half a heart off, but that's fine. Alrighty, well, working with the slimes is maybe not a good idea right now. So let's look into making sure that our Orberry farm is as good as it can be. Uh, we are going to want wood. And... Yeah. Okay. So something perhaps a little less dangerous. Anything back? Okay, good.
So our little farm is all ready. And all I gotta do to farm this is hold down shift and S and A and just drag backwards and hold down the right click and just pick the berries and that's all there is to it and it's going to be a while before the planted ones are, are really prepared but you can see how quickly they're already growing it's fantastic and it is just tons and tons and tons of free experience all right, what have we got in here right now? We've got... I had an Enderman! How... Did I have an Enderman spawn inside my... How in the world? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the very first time I have ever seen this. In quite some time of playing Tinker's Construct. I actually don't know how to get it out of there. Is it a nugget? You use the nugget cast? Hang on, let's put this... We got a bunch of extra ores. Wait, did I put a cast over there? No, I did not. It's a thousand millibars of liquid ender. I don't know how much makes a block. I, I, I honestly don't know how what that is, how much that is. Is that an ingot? Can I get an ingot of Ender? No. Uh, I'm hesitant to put it into one of these, but... Let's see how much that gives me. It's probably not a hole. That's a whole block. I'm amazed. That, that just made a whole block. Oh, a block of solid Ender. I have a block of solid it. Can I make it into Oh, I can't break it down. Well, that doesn't do me any good. <laughs> uh yeah, that's different. I've I don't think I've ever done that. Can I can I cook it? As if I cook it. Nothing. Okay. Well, I have a really pretty green block. Which I can't turn into anything. Lock of solid ender usable for beacon bases. But how do I get the... Huh. Alright, well. We'll have to figure that one out. I'm actually going to have to research that to see if there's any way to turn that back into ender pearls. Um, I actually don't know if there is. I don't know if there's any way to turn that into an ender pearl. Possibly this way, I think. The aluminum brass in the bottom. No. Okay, not that way. And all the diamonds in the world, that's for sure. Well, uh... <laughs> that was a bit of an, an unexpected turn of events, but hey. We got ourselves some uh, free blocks of Ender. And we got a few mobs spawning over there. That was had to have been quite... That's where all the Endermen are. The... They're spawning inside here and dying. <laughs> I've been wondering where they went. Now I know. That's just really weird. Huh. Enderman spawning inside my, uh, my smeltery. Let's just be the darkest place around, I guess. Okay, and yeah, I'm resetting day. Just gonna run over here and see if... See if that made any difference. And there's my... There's my slime island with a notch out of it. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could just dig away the, the wall there. 
Do I have any blocks with me? I don't have any. You know what? I'm getting sidetracked. And yes, I know that that thing has a hole in the bottom of it, but generally speaking, what happens is the mobs go down it and they drown. <laughs> so I'm not overly worried about it. All right, well, uh, getting back to what I was doing. That's just so weird. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put some of this in. Do we have any more? We don't have any more. So we still have 11 tin ore berry bushes and 7 aluminum ore berry bushes. We just don't have anywhere to put them right now. And let's go ahead and get the uh, ingot and the nugget cast out because I'm going to have uh, probably two nuggets of copper ore berry here in a second. Yep, two nuggets. One. And there's the other one. And I'll go ahead and put the tin and the aluminum in there now that I don't have to worry about the copper alloying with them. Okay, and as we finish working on our uh, smeltery here, we've uh, once again come to the end of another episode. And as always, I will thank you very much for watching. And if again, if you're enjoying the series and you want to see more of this, please do subscribe. And if you like this particular episode, uh, please do leave a like. And I will see you in the next episode.